Hey guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to another Vectors lesson. Hopefully you are getting as excited about these laws as I am for vectors. So last lesson we talked about the commutative laws and we said that for both real numbers and vectors the commutative law was true. And today we're going to talk about the associative laws and possibly distributive laws if we can get to that. So real numbers, addition, is it associative? The answer is yes. Okay, so what is associative? Well, it simply means that if you have three numbers adding onto each other, okay, it doesn't matter whether you add the first two together first, and then you add the third one, or you can add the last two together first and then add the first number so I don't even understand myself but for example let's say we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 okay 5 not 6 okay so you can see here 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9 alright now if I put 3 plus 5 in brackets then this is the same as 1 plus 8 which is 9 so it still gives me the same thing whereas I could do 1 plus 3 and put it in brackets and then plus 5 it's 4 plus 5 which is 9 so it's still the same thing so therefore real number addition is associative okay now let's try real number multiplication and see if it's associative and the answer is yes because if we have I might just copy this over it's a bit easier to do so if we have a times b times c um, and we multiply the first two numbers together first that is exactly the same thing as um, A times bracket B times C okay so a times B in brackets times C is the same as A times in brackets B times C. So let's see an example of that. Okay, so for example, um, we could have 3 times, I'm just going to use this symbol for times, it's easier. 3 times 5 times 2 is 30. Right, because 3 times 5 is 15 times 2 is 30. Now it doesn't matter whether you go 3 times 5 in brackets first and then you times it by 2 because that will give you 15 times 2 which is 30 or you could go 3 times um, 5 times 2 which is 3 times 10 which is still 30. So for real numbers it's associative when you multiply. Okay, so let's now do vector addition and see if it's associative. So in other words, we want to know whether if we have three vectors adding onto each other, so if we have a plus b plus c vector c, and we want to know is that the same as We want to know if it matters whether we do the first two in brackets. So we do that, add those two vectors together first and then add the third one. Will it be the same thing as adding the second two together and then adding on to the first one? So let's try geometrically representing that. So I'm going to draw a vector to start off from the origin and I'm going to call this vector A. a. OK, 
okay so this is the origin and this is vector a okay and then from vector a I'm going to add a horizontal line which is vector B so it's gonna be about here that I stop and I'm gonna call this vector B so so far we have vector A plus vector B so if we do A plus B right now we will get this vector here from the origin to vector B so this line is there for um, A plus B okay so right now this is what we're doing A plus B now we're gonna add another vector called C at the end of vector B so it's gonna be A plus B plus C and let me just draw another vector from this point to about here actually it doesn't matter I'll just make it a bit bigger okay so this is vector C and therefore the result of this vector the resultant vector from the origin to this point is therefore vector a plus b in brackets right because it's this line here plus that line okay now we want to try the other one where we're gonna go B plus the C first okay so we're starting at this point this point is now our origin so we're doing the second part now let me just highlight that we're gonna do this part first so we're gonna go B plus C okay so I should probably highlight that a little bit better ah who cares and then I'm going to do B plus C and I'll draw a line from here all the way down to here and this vector is B plus C so let me get my pen back this vector is B plus C so if we go let's use another marker if we go a plus so we're now doing the second one a plus b plus c which is that a plus b plus c then we end up with the same thing okay then we end up with the same thing so this we also end up with this line a plus b plus c is the same thing so I hope you know what I'm doing um, a plus bracket b plus c is also this line on the bottom okay so therefore we have proven that vector addition is associative as well so ah, just put it down the bottom yes it is associative okay now let's try the last one vector dot product now I can tell you already that it is not associative okay and here's the reason if you multiply Oh, firstly the dot product is a scalar quantity okay so if you multiply two vectors together so a dot B okay then you end up with a scalar quantity that is not a vector oops equals scalar quantity 
which means it's not a vector. Okay, so if you go a dot b. Okay, if you go a dot b dot c. So a dot b brackets. And then you go dot c. Don't even know why I'm typing this because it's not going to work anyway will not work because uh, a dot b is no longer a vector okay so a dot b is no longer a vector which means you can't multiply you can't dot another vector so uh, for the scalar product to work, basically, uh, you need to have two vectors. So if you multiply first two vectors together, it's not going to be a vector, so you can't multiply by another vector. And so this rule is not applicable. Okay, the associative law is not at applicable for the dot product. Okay. So hopefully you guys have understood all of this for associativity for vectors. Uh, see you guys next time.